Hello, Felix from Nintendo Life here. I am not alone here to talk about the first games we ever played, because I'm also joined by the wonderful Mr. Alex. Ah, it's me. And not only him, but we also have Mr. Sion. Hey, it's me too. Whoa! Look at us all finally being in our talk together. We've been off one another, and uh, it's just nice that we're here, and we're going to talk about the first games we ever played, because we have three different games since we, you know, grew up different time ages. Not so much you and, and Alex, Sion, you grew up very closely. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if our game was the same one? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I, I'm honestly, like, really curious. I, I really have no idea what either of you guys are going to have, um, but I'm kind of curious if uh, we're going to have any idea what Alex is specifically if I'll know what Alex's is because of different systems. Like today I watched a video about the ZX Spectrum. Uh, I basically have no idea what that is. And uh, maybe maybe my first game was on the ZX Spectrum. It wasn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> dang. Well, seeing as uh, you're the sleepiest boy here, Zeon, um, being awake. At... I'm not sleepy. <laughs> it's half four in the morning for you. No, we don't have to bring. We don't have to make that <laughs> known for the viewer. Cut that out. Get, get that out of here. <laughs> I'm never cutting stuff out that people ask me to cut out. I've learned that from the very best. Sh should we let Zeon go first? First, since he's such a sleepy boy. Yeah, Sion, what was your game? So my first game uh, is not, I don't want to say it's not exciting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not exciting. Way to start off. I, I'll, I'll create a story here for it instead. I, I was born in the year 1992. So basically at this point, you know, the Super Nintendo was already out there. The NES was as well. Uh, but I suppose I, the, the first, I don't even know if this is the first game that I ever played, but the first memory uh, that I ever had was uh, was playing um, an Atari in my mom's bedroom with like I'm pretty sure my grandpa was there uh, and my family was uh, we were big basically everybody in the family were big bowlers big bowl. so and maybe that's why this stuck maybe we played it multiple times I don't Is that know why but you were so good in London I was oh <laughs> It's the different lanes. We didn't even take off our shoes to put on different shoes, Alex. I it will was... say the UK oh. bowling was different than, than in Denmark. It was very slim. Like, that was a thin bowling lane even for me. Yeah. And I didn't even get to bring my own ball. So, <laughs> of course. Of course I did terrible. I'll bring my shiny ball. I, I, I have over a thousand points in Wii Sports. Come on. I'll bring it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it sparkles in the in the sunlight. Uh, so am, know, I, am I assuming that your, that your first game was bowling on the Atari. Yes, yes. My first <laughs> first game was, was bowling on the Atari 2600, which I will send you a video clip of now. And I'm not sure if you you both had to have hear me or have heard me laughing uh, earlier, like before we started this chat. But uh, it's because I went and like, I looked it up. I, I listened to the sound effects <laughs> and it's just so... <laughs> dated. Like, see, I was celebrating a, when Wii Bowling came to, like, with that's Wii Sports. a strong rolling sound right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pins, it, it sounds like, I, I, don't, I don't know, it sounds like a spaceship. It sounds it's, like uh, an Atari even, game. Yeah, it does. Wow. It's rough. It's really it's rough. It's incredible how far video games have come. And, and if you think about it, this looked worse because we were playing on... Yeah. I don't know, some TV from the 80s, most likely, as well. Yeah. Was it black and, and so white out of interest? Because a lot of people... <laughs> no, no, that wasn't... That's not meant to be a jab. No, I know! I know! <laughs> I had a black and white TV that I played Super Mario World on at my grandmother's house. No way! You played Whoa. video games on a black and white TV? Yeah, it was like a little one designed for a caravan, so it ran on 12 sure. volts. Oh, my, my grandma had one of those in her, in her sewing machine, or in her... <laughs> that's what we used to call her. Room. That's actually what we used to call it was the sewing machine room because that's where she would do crafts. You Americans yeah. and your massive houses. <laughs> what, what's a black and white TV? I'm it's joking. A, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, that's not getting like ready to explain it. <laughs> Oh, I, I wouldn't put it past us if if we had to explain to Felix though what a VCR was, and not that that's even I his fault. I know what a VCR is. That's in my time. Don't worry. Okay, but do you know what a laser disc is, or an eight track? A what now? I mean, an eight do track. You, and, it and that's predates okay. us, Zeon. That's really that's bending I, the goalposts. I'm not trying to be mean to him either. I just 
because he knew what a VC or VCR was, I had to had to find something. Sorry, am I confusing VCR with VHS? I think VHS I uh, is the tape the itself, and the v a VCR is the thing you put it in. Ah, okay. kind of like a DVD and a DVD Look how player. how much we're learning today. Yeah, I did not know that. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, my we we did have a Nintendo as well. So I don't. Like we, we definitely, we had the Nintendo before I was born. So I don't know why my first memory is of this bowling game, but we did play an Atari at my aunt's house too. And I remember playing this like really awful submarine game too, uh, which that could have come before this bowling one, but bowling definitely was, was in that realm because then eventually we let uh, somebody else in the family borrow the Atari and it just poofed. It disappeared. It's gone. Oh. Uh, and now, now, like, I have the Nintendo that my family grew up with, and I, like, still have the box and everything for it and, like, have kept that safe. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, Atari, Atari bowling is, like, the... It's just this weird, this weird time that I remember, like, <laughs> fairly vividly. Do you know how, how old you were when you played oh, it? Oh, man. Well... That's a good question. I don't... I honestly have no idea. I would say... Somewhere between three and five, I guess, maybe six. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I almost feel like I must have played Mario before I was five or six too. So I, I don't know. But some, somewhere in that small span of time, that's probably all I can say about this, though. Beyond the fact that, like, I laughed at just seeing the game again. Like, I don't know how people had fun with that. When you, when you played it, do you remember it? Like, oh, this looks like this is just so cool. That boss I mean, says I must more have, than words ever could. <laughs> I must have been mesmerized somehow, you know? Because, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, games weren't... I mean, no, yeah, no, we no. had a Nintendo. Yeah. So, I mean, but I, I, maybe they made me play Atari Bowling first. So that way then I could be, like, wowed more by impressed. the Nintendo. Yeah, like, whoa, Grandpa, what is this Mario? I'll do that to my children when I get them. I'll just let them play Atari and then, well, now you're taking a huge leap. Let's play Breath of the Wild. And like, I, <gasps> I, I don't think you'd, they'd even be able to make the comparison to say that these are both video games. Like, that leap is... Their head would explode. It was just... Well, with how while. much, like, kids are just kind of already, uh, like, given technology at such, like, a young age with phones and tablets and everything it would actually be cool to like ease them in you know start them a bit behind and then yeah. you know it gets cool because if you start at you know breath of the wild and then go back they're gonna be like what the hell is this it is a huge jump and i think like i think i would have fun playing atari <laughs> bowling for a night and i that would be it but i don't know if anybody else <laughs> would if they didn't have the attachment to it you know i, I was thinking i would have I would have no fun playing Atari Bowling for 10 minutes. That's a very short amount of time, and I, but I don't blame you. I really don't. I feel like I would get the whole game within about the first 20 seconds. Yeah. W what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know if you do a thousand enough those, you get the, the new sound effect? That could be a real thing, And you actually. get to play as Atari Luigi. Bill, the um, the classic mascot for the time. Atari Bill. Wow. Just wears a different color shirt or something? Or can yeah. the Atari not pull that off, actually? Uh, uh. No, you just have to. You just know. You just know. You just know. Mm. It says okay. you can now place this and it's just the same dude. <laughs> It just has a different name, but yeah. it looks the same. Yeah. But every time you roll the ball, he goes, bowling. <laughs> no, like, mm. They wasted it's the entire so cartridge much. size on just that sound effect alone. It's too long. Well, Sion, that was a very interesting story. And I did not know that your first game was Atari Thanks. bowling. So that was very intriguing to learn. If, if anyone would love to go back in time and change that for me, that would be wonderful <laughs> as well. Just throwing that out there. Uh, I think I'll take the opportunity to go next. Um, mm. I think you guys know which game I played first, but if you don't, um, my first game was Mario Kart DS, which came out in 2005. And um, I played it around New Year's Eve 2006. I was at this juggling convention of all places in, in <laughs> Stockholm. But of course. And... But of course, you know, um, I, I played it with, I think my father's friend had this DS, the OG DS, and uh, he let me play it. I actually have a picture. Look at me. I'm <laughs> oh my <a> God. DS. <laughs> I'm four years no old. No way. You're so much lighter. Yeah. You're like me. Oh, that's adorable. I have yeah. more, 
So normally at this convention, I just played with the dolls. The dolls there were very nice. They were very, um, I don't know. But I was just, you know, I was just with the DS. I was playing, here, the picture. I was playing from day <laughs> to night, you know. I was just sitting in the same oh. position, just playing DS. You have a mullet. That's awesome. He does. I have a mullet. How about that? That's He's a, rocking that's a it, look. though, honestly. Like, that is I've seen... Look. Oh, in the day until night, you're not yeah. kidding! <laughs> oh, this, my father sent me this. I was like, this is perfect! <laughs> oh, that's um, awesome. But yeah, so, um, that I love. That is loved, a trip. It was, this was the first video game I remember playing. I, maybe I played some, I don't know. I was four years old. And man, was it just fun. I remember playing as, especially as Luigi in the Poltergeist 4000. I also played with Yoshi in the, I think the card was called Egg One. What a name. I think that's about right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, the tracks are just really fun. Uh, this game brought a lot of like first, uh, like things we saw the first time in, in Mario Kart DS, like retro tracks, which is a staple now, but that was the first in DS, which is really cool. There was also online mode, which I didn't really use, but I used the, the local online multiplayer because um, when I was about six, we had this play in school and um, while others performed, there was the, like this back room and everyone brought the Nintendo DS, the light. Uh, oh. like, and we all played Mario Kart DS locally and everyone was just a shy guy, you know, unless you right, know, right. the guy who actually had the game got to, to pick yeah. the other guys and gals had to play a shy guy. And it was just a grand old time. Yeah, if you if, if you use Download Play, right, you had to stick with Shy Guy. Download Play is the best invention. It's, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I, forget the, the other light day, bulb, baby. I had uh, some friends over the other day, and I have a couple of DSs, um, and we played Mario Kart. And, you know, we just, you know, I only have to have one copy, and we can all play together on our own systems. It's just such, ooh, I wish that was a thing. Well, it is with, like, 50, uh, what is it, 51 worldwide games i don't oh, even right. know 51. yeah there is a sort of like there a separate download there, but it's for not, that isn't there it's not so like snappy as the ds it's just it's so easy with the ds to get it going and mm. running admittedly the ds had a much the, the games were a lot smaller and yeah, yeah even then they were like really clever with how they transferred it because the sound i remember in mario kart ds if you didn't have the cartridge the if you did the download play the sound became really crunchy, <laughs> probably yeah? because oh, really? it was like a lower um, Yeah, bit because rate. they download so quickly. I, yeah. I didn't think about that. But still, it's just a really cool feature. It is. It's a bit it's a bit more um it's a bit more substantial as a first gaming experience with the best will in the world, Xeon, to Atari bowling. <laughs> <laughs> there is a big leap there, but there's also a lot of years like since Sion was, I think there is a 10 year gap there when, oh, of when we were like four years old. So a lot happens yeah. in, in 10 years. And Mario Kart DS, just, I, I played it just here before also, and it just holds up. It's just a really, really fun yeah. game to play. It has mission mode. I remember fondly playing that, which unfortunately hasn't returned ever since. But it's just, it's nice to have single player, actual single player content. I know you can play against CPUs, but it's just, it's just, it's just a good game. I was really happy when my father found the pictures of me playing. I was like, yeah, those do you, are do you so have a chance have cool. something of me playing Mario Kart? He's like, yeah, actually, actually I do. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I have multiple. It's my phone background. <laughs> if you can see in the first picture um, I sent, it's actually this dude uh, with the brown shirt. That's his DS I borrowed. You can see how sad he is that he can't play the DS. He looks, he looks like, nervous that he's handed yeah. his, his brand new gaming console. To Felix. I actually think the, the the woman in the back is also playing a DS, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not... Yeah, it does look like it. Yeah. Could be, or maybe a GBA in a case like that. It's possible. Yeah, it could be. I, I have no idea. I can't recall. I was, I was four years. That's, um, that's okay. I said it was New Year's Eve, so I have a picture for the occasion. Look at that. Felix oh, with his star oh, catcher. Man. That's not Mario Kart DS. No. Nope. That's a fire hazard. He probably has it in his pocket, though. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about Mario Kart DS. But anyway, going from Mario Kart DS, Alex, you probably have a much less, yeah, a more primitive game than that because it I was. I beg your, I beg your pardon. My first game <laughs> was was the was Breath of the Wild. No. Um... <laughs> wow, you were so lucky, Alex. <laughs> yeah, he got it before time. Yeah. Um, my first game, I, I, 
I, I, I know it's a bit of a cop-out, but I don't know exactly which one it is. But I know it's one of two different things. Will you tell us about both? I intend to. Do we get to decide today which one is official? Is the official Alex only first game? Yeah, oh, you, you guys can decide for nice. me. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So um, the first one is, um, I tell you what, I'll hit you with a, a bit of a bit of a curveball. The first one, I believe, is possible is actually it's not on a console. Um, <laughs> it is its own thing. Oh. Basically, there were a lot of these, they called them handheld games, but they weren't really. They were tabletop games released in the United Kingdom in the 80s, and we had one. Uh, not in the 80s. I could have played this at any age, frankly. Uh, it's called Grandstand Scramble VFD, uh, VFD screen. Um, so, like, basically an old calculator, oh, essentially. Cool. It's, it's an old calculator with aspirations. Um, and I, I, when I was uh, preparing for this video, I looked up a brief clip of it, and the music, I was just like, oh my god, I'm like three again. Because yeah. it was just, it's in embedded in my brain. I sent it to my brother as well, and his response was just, I'm amazed it even turned on, because it ran on, like, six D-cell batteries. Wow. Music can be so, like, you hear it, and you've not heard it for, like, 10, 20 years, and you're just like, man, I remember this like it was yesterday. It's just embedded in your brain. Yeah. I had the same with, like, I just found a copy of Cars for the Game Boy Advance, and I had not played that game since I was, like, five or something. And just, like, booting up the game, the music was just like, hell yeah. It is crazy how quickly it can pull you back. You're totally yeah. right. Music has some strong effects. It does. I just looked up some video of this grandstand scramble as well. And I'm impressed that it actually features different colors and that it's not just uh, yeah. it's not just an overlay either that like mm. projects or that changes the colors or something. Cause I I've seen different units like that before, uh, from like when I worked at the game store, we got like random stuff in like this all the time. Uh, but uh, but yeah, to have actual like different LEDs and stuff running was that's that's impressive. Ah, ha, ha, they're not LEDs, my friend. Oh, oh yeah, you, you're right. The way before, way before <laughs> that. Um, I can't remember exactly what it stands for. VFD, uh, or is it? No, 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 no. VFD. Yeah, vacuum vacuum fluorescent display. It was used Ooh. on a lot of <clears throat> VCRs. Nice. Ooh, coming full circle with that conversation. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and yeah, it was just an older screen technology, and I think they made surprisingly good use of it. Um, it oh, was yeah. unreliable as all hell, though. Was it more reliable than Atari bowling? That's the real question. Uh, I don't know. I would. We would have to compare notes, Zeon. I mean, Atari bowling, I played it with my family multiplayer, so... At least you you I don't know was did you play Grand Grand Strand Scramble Granddad with your with your family? Um, no, it's single player. So um, okay, yeah, it's not online multiplayer. What cringe? <laughs> God, there aren't even any microtransactions. <laughs> it was it was a different time, and obviously the game predates me. By a substantial amount. Not as much as uh, Zeon's bowling, though, because that was 78 I looked up, and this, oh. I think, was 82, oh, was. 83. Wow. Okay. Um, so I wasn't even a twinkle in the milkman's eye back then. Atari bowling's that old? Yeah, I was oh three years old. Gosh, why did they let me play that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, you know, Atari bowling is uh, only for adults, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, yeah. Strong That's themes a of. That's um, hard game. Zeon, <laughs> if you played the, the, the PAL version, you, you, you couldn't. It's so different. The lanes are much slimmer. And you don't take <laughs> off your shoes. What if what if Atari bowling is the thing that turned me on to bowling? That like, would what be if, what if that's an experience. What made me, I mean, to gosh. be fair, it's probably it's probably what turned you on to getting this career. So and and grandstand scramble is the thing that almost turned Alex into a a missile pilot. Well, yeah, but is it? He took a different turn. It depends if that was the first game I played, because there is another contender. And oh, right. I, I, you know, I don't have to. I don't have to explain it to Zeon. I'm sure, but Felix, there was oh drum roll, the oh, eight, oh. the eight bit version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, that's cute. Eight bit Wait. version. What did this yeah. run on? Master System. Oh. 
oh. which predates the Mega Drive. And I know that this is a contender oh, yeah. because my brother got this, got a Master System 2 um, with this game baked in and he yeah. got it for his fifth birthday. And therefore Ooh. I would have been two and I wow. doubt for a second that I wouldn't have had a go at two years old. I would have had a pop. And it would have been in my parents' house, obviously, in the kitchen, which is where it was set up. I think so that my mum could keep an eye on us. This is surprisingly, like, high-tech. Like, I'm just looking at a video of it, and it actually looks pretty good. It holds up fairly it's well. It's okay, yeah. It's it's by no means anywhere near as impressive as uh, the Mega Drive original, because this was released afterwards. But yeah. uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Master System is even more impressive. I Ooh. believe it... I'm pretty damn sure it has the spin dash. But now that I say it out loud, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but it was also the first game uh, to have Tails in it, not uh, the one that I mentioned, the second one. So slightly oh, okay. off topic. But yeah... Um, technically, actually, I suppose I would probably, uh, if he got it on the day, I'd have been one. Wow. Sonic is so old. Because um, his birthday is eight days before mine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I probably would have been one. Nearly two, admittedly, but, you know. So crazy that these, like, iconic video game characters are not, like, more than, you know, 30, 35 years old. It's yeah. just so crazy that there was a time when nobody knew who Mario, who Sonic was and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool that, like, so many of us are, you know, kind of living... We, we're we're alive for we're, we're just as old as some of these characters i think yeah. is what i'm trying to say you know like pokemon just celebrated what it's 25th anniversary yeah i think, I think and, you're right uh and that's you know that's very close to all of us in age and uh and even you know not a, not a lot of americans grew up with the master system like it didn't sell no, very well here was, at all it was basically the nez for europe to be honest i mean the nez was still a thing mm. absolutely and there'll be some people going down to the comments going oh my friends had nezes and i grew up in you know scunthorpe or something and <laughs> You know, you that's made fine, that but, you know, sort of, you look at the numbers and the Master System was way more popular. Sega just had more of a stranglehold here. And um, over time, that, you know, sort of disappeared. But even the Super Nintendo wasn't huge, huge over here. Um, but I do just want to present you guys with one last thing. It is just um, oh. a little bit of music from the original Bridge Zone. Um, it's an absolute banger, frankly. Ooh, it's very delightful. I believe this was sampled um, in uh, in some, like, actual artist's music. Everywhere I go, everywhere I see, something around, smiling back at me. Is oh, you know this song? <laughs> There's totally a thing there that I, I hear. I don't, I don't know if it goes as hard as bowling, though. You know. That's like S tier. That's hard bowling. <laughs> this can get A. Well, Anyway, that was Sion's Alex Mine's first ever games we ever played. Uh, one thing we have to do before we have to, me and Sion has to figure out which game was actually Alex's first game. And I vote for Atari Bowling. That was Alex's <laughs> first game. Well, we are really just, we're, we're going back in time and doing it for Alex. I, I asked for me. I wanted my first game changed. I, I must admit, now that I think about it, I seem to remember in about, you know, sort of, I think it might have been 1993, 1994. I remember going to someone's house um, in Wisconsin and playing Atari bowling in someone's house. bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you in my house? I'm Grandma, just passing Grandma, by, you know. <laughs> who is this? Is it my brother from the future? <laughs> also, um, strangely enough, I remember giving my um, DS and copy of Mario Kart DS to a small child when I happened to be uh, zipping <laughs> zipping through Denmark briefly. Ah, uh, okay. Back to the future for... <laughs> I, I, lo I looked a lot older back then. I looked just like Captain America going back in time like to place all the Infinity Stones so everything can like go out properly just that's, with video games that's exactly what i was doing did you put atari in my house uh i i made atari for you zeon so that you could learn to love bowling felix i pick sonic no. i pick sonic for <laughs> alex i think i think sonic is the most likely one to be honest because my brother yeah. got it when he was so young yeah it sounds more like i'll vote sonic in all seriously so in blah, blah, blah. all seriouslessness Cereal. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that word. Seriousness. <laughs> Sonic cereal coming at you in 2023. Wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, the the crunch that is too fast. But yeah, 
If you like this video, why don't you remember back to a time long ago and hit that subscribe button. That was horrible. <laughs> And Smooth. don't forget to yeah, don't forget to check out all sorts of nice articles and, and stuff on our website, NintendoLife.com. And please let us know your first game you ever played and your like memories with it down in the comments below. Take care, play some of your first ever video games. Felix from Nintendo Life here. Out. Smiling back at me.